Okay, so today we're going to have a look at uh, getting this character out of Maya 2018 into Unreal 4.2.4.1, the latest Super Giganto update. So uh, we need to make sure that you have um, smoothing groups turned on, smooth mesh turned off. Uh, I think we need animation turned off. So uh, Right, so yeah, apologies for that. We don't need that small blurry piece of uh, video. So animation turned off, cameras turned off, lights turned off, and audio turned off, obviously, because it's stupid. Uh, embed media turned on, and then we want to make sure you've got uh, 2013 FBX, because Mixamo doesn't accept anything under FBX 2014, I don't think. <coughs> so... I'm just calling this Zelda, which uh, will probably cause copyright issues. Uh, so let's drag this in to Mixmo and see if we can get it to uh, auto rig it. So let's just drag it in. Uh, so I'm just dragging in the FBX here. Uh, so the usual thing where you need to align the skeletons for the auto rig settings. Um, so I can see here that we haven't quite got the eye texture in, but we'll fix that in Unreal. Okay, so I think I'm just going to skip forward here. Okay, so it's coming fine. Uh, so I want to delete the old character and we bring in this elf character. So uh, we want to initially, I'm just testing out the animations to see how the skin is, so it seems to be okay. It's never going to be perfect, but this is effectively just a test to show you the pipeline. Okay, so I want to get the, uh, I want to use the T pose, and this is so that when I bring it into Unreal and bring it in with skin, this is my uh, basic character with skeleton that I'm going to bring into Unreal. So this is a relatively large file. Um, so all the other animations that I take off this character will be uh, just without skin, so it's just the animations. Uh, because um, you you only want one, one full character with the skin, uh, bringing it in from Mixmo, so that then you just drop the animations onto it in Unreal, hence saving yourself quite a bit of time and memory. Okay, so just... Uh, Making sure I name it in a understandable but dangerously copyright litigiously named file. Okay, so you notice as well that if you're taking it into Unreal, that you want to make sure that any animations you keep uh, the character in place because uh, you'll move it forward via blueprints. What I mean is that we're going to move it. In Unreal, it doesn't need to actually be moving forward in the animation. Okay, so I'm just downloading all the separate animations that I need. <clears throat> so I'll show you all of those in a minute. Uh, so I'm just checking which animations I need to download. Okay. Yep. So if you look, that's 301 kilobytes, and the full model is 2,500 kilobytes, uh, which isn't enormous, but um, obviously, you know, you want to just make sure that you're saving time whatever possible. So, right, over to Unreal, uh, and we are creating a new project. Uh, so I will just use it under the games format, uh, make sure I've got it in the right place. We don't want okay, so character with blend trees. So this is just a character with blend trees tutorial. So make sure you you have a, a, a folder for all your Unreal projects uh, that's backed up regularly. Uh, okay, so it starts with the default content, starter content. So I'm just making a big folder called Andy for, to put all my. Uh, content in. Um, so first of all I want to bring in my character and keep this in a separate uh, folder as it's going to have a load of textures with it. 
Uh, and then level so that I can create a new level. So I've just created a default level. Okay. I'm just saving up my level into a folder so that I know where to find it and I can also uh, adjust the project settings um, to make sure we'll start on this level. We'll look at that in a minute. Okay, so. Right, so I'm just going to drag that in. That'll take a while. Let's have a look at the settings. Uh, we don't want, so we want to make sure we're bringing the no skeleton when we're bringing in the original core model. Uh, and then use TO as ref pose, so that means use frame zero as ref pose, uh, which I don't think is entirely necessary, but it seems to work. Don't create a physics asset. If I remember, that takes uh, hundreds of years to compute. Uh, okay. Okay, so uh, I am. Yeah. So that seems to all be fine. Yeah, you've got to be really careful with this, otherwise uh, it, it will cause issues. Yeah, just making double sure. Uh, yeah, okay. Okay, so that's coming nice and quickly. So I'll just drag the character called Link, well done Andy, into the scene. So we can see the eyes are uh, missing. So what I'll do is I'll just drag that in and it automatically creates a material. It's got to, uh, actually that's incorrect. So I'm just, I think I put on the wrong texture. I'm gonna find it in a minute. It's that one there, well done Andy. Good stuff. Okay. So that isn't quite working, so uh, let's see if I can find the actual eye texture. I also brought in the hair. So the eyes it seems to come in as a separate uh, child uh, of the model. So we can drag a texture onto that independently. Uh, we can't drag a texture onto the hair, otherwise it makes the entire character hair. So uh, I've just undone that. So let's, uh, if we have a look at the hair, we can see that it's uh, not double sided, as in you can see through it. Uh, the opacity is causing it to look like the poor elf character is partially bald. Um, so if I double click on the texture, we can just go over to the material editor. Uh, and it's as simple as that, just down there it says two sided, and then we just save it and go back to the scene. Recalculates it. Uh, go back to the scene. Okay, so that's now double sided, although it's using the uh, body texture. So uh, that's, I'm not going to bother going into fixing that correctly. It's uh, basically for the purposes of this exercise. As long as we've got a character that is relatively coherent, then we are all right. So uh with that in mind get all my animations in and so you need to find the skeleton uh, that unreal has built for you so we've got all the animations in there so let's just test that uh, so she's not animating he's not animating he she <coughs> okay so i think uh it's because i, I brought in the wrong settings, so this is why you have to be very careful. So let's have a look. Uh, so that's correct, yeah. So I need to do all. Um, so just follow those settings when you bring a character in and then we should get the animations in with it as well. We can see now we have, because the character is in its T0 position. Okay. Okay, so we're just going over to the animation, uh, character animation editor there. Right, so it seems that I need to uh, double side all the animations individually. 
not sure why that is. Um, I'm sure there's probably some quick way of selecting them all and adjusting the textures to be two sided, but I shall do it by hand and hopefully get back to you. Again, I'm having to drag the eyes in. So this is really just to show you uh, how you can use a texture to just my printer is now appears to be haunted by a poltergeist. It's turned itself on. Uh, okay, so we've got the eyes working, so I need to go through all of them and do that, unfortunately. So, uh, as I say, this, there will be some quick way of doing that, but I've been relatively new to Unreal. I don't know how to. Um, so, go through, double side everything, and get all the characters sorted, and then Bob's your uncle, and we should be alright. I'm just kind of hoping here that I have speeded it up at this point. Yes, 